Welcome to the Big Humble Podcast. I am your host, Morgan the Stallion, and I am joined by Matt Thotty, yaddy, 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 Lockwood. This guy said Morgan the Stallion. Oh, I forgot to record. Let's do that over. I'm just kidding. Um, what's up? That's uh, Morgan. I'm, yeah, well, he said it. Yeah, I don't have a lot Morgan today, the Stallion, sorry. you're rebranding. No, not really. Um, you didn't get the whole thing? Matt Thotty, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Yeah, I mean, I got oh, all right. Matt, Matt, daddy, 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 daddy. It worked, worked, it worked better with Thotty. Because uh, you're not a Thotty, so it's just, I'm not a stallion. Yeah, my nickname is Daddy. You know Morgan's a type of horse? No. It is? No, I don't think so. It is, I promise you. Um, you might look it up. Do you know that Morgan was one of the, uh, it was a tribe on Survivor, season seven, Pearl Islands? Historically, maybe the worst tribe to <laughs> ever exist on Survivor. No, I didn't no know offense. that. It's okay. I wasn't a part of them. Do you know who the other tribe was that was great? Drake. It was Morgans versus Drake. Morgan and Drake. Famous pirates or something. Okay. A Morgan horse is one of the earliest horse breeds developed in the United States. Is that what you were named after? No. My parents wanted to give me a unisex name. Unisex name? Yeah, Bi- uni- a bisexual name. No, unisex. Um, why? Because just in case you wanted to change or whatever? I think it was like a fashionable thing in the 80s. Oh, mine did too, but decided to um, not. <laughs> so very good. Um, today is... This is slowly falling, I think. Today is March 15th. Happy uh, March 15th. Happy Ides of March. Yep. Happy birthday, my buddy Colin. Remember, remember the Ides of March. It's uh, Beware the Ides of March, right? Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Beware the Ides of March. <laughs> remember, remember the Ides Did of March. Did you ever see that movie? No. George Clooney and what's his name? Ryan Fitzpatrick? No clue what it's from. Not Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's um, a Ryan Gosling. What movie was it? The Ides of March. No, I, I think that was a movie, though, huh? Yeah. yeah the that cover more. was... Um, one guy's half face and the other guy's half face on Time Magazine or something like that. That's just face off. Yeah, kind of, but it was political. I've seen it, but I don't remember it. It can't be that good. Um, do you know what the Ides of March is? Uh, it has something to do with Caesar. I think it's a parade. No, it was pre-Caesar, but it was made famous by the death okay. of Caesar. It's a parade. It's the start of Aries. I don't season. think it's a parade. It's like some It's some b- political bullshit from... It's political? I thought it was, maybe it's like the seasons or something? No, it's political. No, it's definitely political. Yeah. Okay. Um, happy birthday. Who'd you say? That's my friend Colin. Colin, it's his birthday, yeah. Colin who helped make Colin, our theme song. No, my friend Colin flew in back in oh. New York. Well, fuck that guy then. No, he's a nice guy. Um, hey Colin, nice to meet you. He doesn't listen to this. Yeah, yeah. fuck him then. <laughs> he's a piece of shit. Told you. I was just on the Zoom. It was like it was uh, for his thirty second. It was like a surprise Zoom, and I was like looking around like the Zoom room. And it was just people I've known forever, and I was like, ten years ago, if we were all like in the same building, yeah, there was this would have been so dangerous. Yeah. But Not because we're like, like just, I don't know, just very reckless people. Yeah, but now you're on the internet. Yeah, everyone's got together a little bit. Um, happy birthday, Brett Michaels, famous reality television star. I also read that he was in a band. Yeah, Poison. Crazy. Is it? Poison but, is um, the name of a band, a song, and an album. What's the Poison? Poison by Alice Cooper. I'm thinking of a different Poison. Right? That's by Alice Cooper. And then there's a Poison album. I got quick thumbs today. We're both looking stuff up. I know we can uh, we can go back and forth. <laughs> um, you know, just just believe me. Um, <laughs> I don't know who sings the the album Poison. Yeah, it's just Poison songs. There, it's got to be an album named Poison, though. Yeah, Brett Michaels. Yeah, he did Rock of Love a couple times, huh? Um, it was like two or three. Did he? Or what, I think there he were didn't two find seasons. Love? No, he didn't find it the first. He didn't season, marry sure. New York. <laughs> he, he, she wasn't on Rock of Love. That's why yeah, it would have been better if she was. Yeah, it'd be more interesting. If he was with all those sassy ass black yeah, women, it would have been a little, little different. Yeah, I'd like that. Um, also, happy birthday, Eva Longoria. Not to be confused with Evan Longoria. Eva Longoria, she's a cheater. On what? Right? Didn't she cheat? On Wait. the TV show, maybe. Who was Tony Parker? No, that was Eva Mendez. Yes. Or was it Eva Longoria? I think it was Eva I Longoria. Know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. If like, they both look like the same person from Desperate Housewives to me. The, the hottest Desperate Housewife, I think. I don't know who else was on that show. Doesn't matter. Eva Longoria. It's true. She wins. Did you watch that show? No. Pretty good. Um, I mean, it Fun. would have like six or seven seasons. Yeah, or something like that. I remember when they were advertising for it, everyone thought it was, uh, everyone in the Christian community thought it was bad. The devil. It's on ABC, The devil guys. music. So. It's on ABC. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I did a, um, I was, re- I did, I helped a kid with um, a student film that he filmed, and it was on the Universal lot at the Desperate Housewives block. I was going to say recently. So I got to walk around um, probably four or five years ago. Nice. Way post Desperate Housewives. Man. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, these houses where people lived. Uh, where did I go? Not all, it's all fake. What's the one that's up in Burbank? Universal Burbank. Okay, that is Universal. I, can't, I don't think it is, but we took that tour and uh, we were like walking. On of the what? Side. In Burbank? Yeah. Like Warner Brothers or something? 
It might be Warner Brothers. War- we- hey, if you see the cops, Warner Brother. Okay. Uh, we took a tour of, it was like this, the only thing I remember is like the same block that uh, Shameless was shot on. Oh, in Chicago? Yeah. But it's in fucking Burbank. The US Shameless or the UK Shameless? The US Shameless. I've never seen the UK. Makes way I'm more so sense. begrudgingly watching the US one. Um, I watched, I think, four or five seasons. We're on nine now. I used to have a big crush on Emmy Rossum. Yeah, she's, she's gorgeous. See her titties. Yeah, yeah. You know what other movie she was in? Uh, the day after tomorrow. Eh. She is eh. not the one I'm thinking of though. <laughs> it's still the eh. movie she's in. I, I gotta get a game show buzzer. Remind me, put a game show buzzer on this. All right. Eh. Um, and a choo choo train. I want to do. No, she was on um Phantom of the Opera. She was the main girl. Okay. Well, good movie. I haven't seen it. Philip. Um, wait, what's his name? John? No, F- Lloyd Philip Sousa. No, John Philip Sousa. I not think the- Lloyd Bank. No, something Weber. Lloyd, Andrew, Andrew Lloyd, Lloyd Weber. Weber. Yeah, we did it. No relation to Chris <laughs> or Lloyd Banks. And finally, happy birthday to Fabio. OG in the fucking horny game. Yeah, the 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 first hot male since Jesus, I think. There are there other hot males, right? Not like Fabio. No, not like Fabio. Fabio was different. He did a little different. He was different. Yeah, I feel like if Fabio was alive in any time before, when was he? Like the eighties, nineties, yeah. early two thousand something. If he was alive in like the eighteen hundreds, he'd be Jesus. People write books about him and shit, you know? I guess. I don't think anyone was that good looking before the 1900s. They might have been. They just weren't photographed. So it's like you couldn't just see this good looking person all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I, They're I, like good looking in their fucking, in their town or whatever. I guess I mean in terms of men, men weren't pretty before. Yeah. Where Fabio's like, the, maybe he's not the best looking man. He's the prettiest man to ever live, I think. Uh, Yeah, you're probably right. But before that, men couldn't be pretty. They, they were like. I guess Julius Caesar, was, I, wasn't, I, he's like notoriously a pretty dude. I shave with a stick. Who? <laughs> Julius Caesar? Yeah. Wouldn't it be I shave with a stone? A stone, whatever. Shave with something. Some, <laughs> you just some rub does, a, it's rubbing wood against your face? Yeah, you chisel it down and you fucking <laughs> scrape the hairs out. You get a bunch of stones, I don't know bro. if Julius Caesar was hot. I think so. Every time I picture him, I just think of like a carved rock. Yeah, but that carved... I mean, so Joaquin Phoenix had to play the carved rock in uh, Gladiator, right? i never seen it. you never seen Gladiator, bro? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. It's good, though. Everyone yeah, it's loves amazing. it. It's one of the best movies ever. Yeah, I never watched it because I read this thing that in one of the se- in one of the shots you can see a crew member in street clothes, and I said, "Nah, it's not for me." Then That's, I'm uh, uh, okay. kind of a perfectionist when I watch movies. No, uh, no, you're not. You like you like movies that aren't perfect. What name one? I can't. I'm trying to think. You like The, the Shining? Wizard of Oz? Don't like it. You know why? You can see the helicopter. You in definitely the like shot. the Wizard of Oz. No, because the midget killed himself. You still liked. You probably liked the movie though. That was my favorite part. <laughs> um, yeah, it would suck to be a midget, bro. That can't be that much fun, I imagine. Like I, every time you see one, just just be like, you know, a little respect for that guy or girl or whatever. Yeah, because it's it's got to be a hard life. I mean, I'm not gonna disrespect them, right? But I, you know, in most of our lives, we're like taught to like point and laugh or whatever at them. <laughs> I don't think a little bit though. Like they're always elves I mean, or we're like yeah, we're we're taught that like a, on, on TV. We and manage shit, it. But not, well, that's not, what I mean. Yeah, but not like in person. But how many times? How in many person, times? It's always like, yo, don't be a dick. How many times do you think you've come into Casual conversation with a midge or li- little person, we'll say. Yeah, let's start by the, sorry, by sorry, sorry. Casual conversation with a little person. I don't know, maybe like twenty times in my life. That's it. I don't. I mean, not. That's I, a lot. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Nothing like that. I would out. say four or five. No, no I that. would say two or three. That's no, crazy. I'm trying to think. I you say, never talked to Brad Williams. I say hi. We, we I've never no like, had a conversation. Casual, no. But like not even like casual, just like a quick back and forth. I gotta yell. It's too our space is too different, bro. I'm too tall. He's too short. It's the same thing with kids. You, you haven't know? always been a fucking giant, bro. You were you were I a have, child though. at one point. Yeah, but I didn't have any in my high school. They're not even like they would have gotten rid of them. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, I might be thinking of like times I've seen a little person. Yeah, like for sure. And I've like, you know, helped yeah. them with cereal or like said, Hey, what's up or whatever, but I've never like you know. Sat there, chopped it up. Yeah, well, I've never gone out to dinner with a little person. That's more than a casual conversation, though. What? Going out to dinner with somebody? Well, even been at the same dinner. You know. Yeah, but still, I mean, I don't know. You, I, for the I most part, usually knows going to be at a dinner. All the times I've been to a friend's house for a get together. Yeah. Anything over four or five people? Not a single time can I remember hanging out with a little person. Maybe not like a bar or something. No. I I I'm sure I've seen one at a bar, but not. I didn't like you know try to. I can't remember like anyone specifically from my life who was like always there. And I, can I say this? No, I'm just by the face you're making. Don't think you should, but go I ahead. Just, okay. So of all the little people I've seen in my life, I think 95% of them have been male. Is that weird to say? Yeah. When you, when I say little person, did you picture? I pictured Brad Williams. 
But that's because that's the that's only one that I one. see okay. all the. You know what I mean? Like that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I see some. And then you TV, said Wee Man. I picked that in my head too. But I'm also th- now I'm thinking of like midget stri- or little strippers. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those. Well, yeah, of course you have hornball. Just saying, you see them on the internet. So Are they half price? I don't know. I don't go to strip clubs. So, um, um, I, I seen mean, I seen a little person stripper. All, say, all I'm saying is put a little re- re- put a little respect on their fucking. Uh, I don't think the, people the are the like, life they live. I don't think anyone who's listening to this is like. Uh, Disrespect not outwardly really disrespect, but I'm just saying when you see him, don't just be like, "Yeah, look, it's uh, one of those." You'd be like, "Damn, you know, they got they got this far in life with all the shit they got to go through, special cars, you know, houses aren't built for little people." No, it's true. Cars are hard. For left-handed people the, either. Here's the thing that they get though: packing, packing, yeah, suitca- uh, suitcases that's a good point. and stuff. That's a good point. That's a good point. Air- airplanes traveling, I guess, is easy. They probably get cheap sneakers, and you get a hotel room. You want to share it with your friends? Four to a bed. I'm not trying to be funny. I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to look on the bright side of things. I didn't. I didn't laugh. <laughs> not, what are you drinking? Um, ice. Ice. Whiskey flavored ice. Nice. I um. I would give you some, but you said you're sick. I'm not sick. I got like uh, I got the vaccine yesterday. I'm feeling just like a little fatigued. I would say. Morgan took place in a government experiment and was injected mm-hmm. with a. Um, I had my rushed, DNA manipulated. A rush to market uh, vaccine. Yes. That is now inside of him, and he doesn't feel good. I also got it. I didn't feel anything. Yeah, they gave me they gave me some trouble on the way. In. I know. So I was going to say, you want to talk about your experience versus mine? Sure. You do yours first. I drove um, fifty minutes, I think it was, to Six Flags, which is close. I expect I thought it was open. I thought I could get a vaccine and then go tilt the world or whatever. Um, so the first girl to see my thing said, "The comedy store, huh?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "And what do you do there?" And I said, I, you know, sometimes I serve food. And she said, at the comedy store? I said, yeah. She said, okay. Then she handed it to the lady next to her and she said, do you have any proof? I said, proof of what? That you serve food. Here's a picture of me with some chicken tenders. I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, you want some proof? Let me take my fucking shirt off. No, I was like, um, I was like, I don't have proof, but I have, you know, my W2, my pay stub, my employee ID that mm-hmm. looks fake as shit. Um, Very. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a comedy club that serves food. She's like, okay. So I get through and I'm like, I'm good. I'm fine. Then I pull up to the next tent where they give you the shot. First lady takes it. She goes, comedy store. I go, yeah. She goes, what do you do? And I was like, just, can you go talk to the other people? Yeah. <laughs> I've already talked to two people, but I said the same exact thing to her. And she's kind of like looking around like for some, like why I don't understand. I mean, they're, they're just like volunteers, right? Yeah. They're just people that also want the vaccine. They're not like doctors, No, I think they? some of them are like uh, medical workers. Sure. They might work at like nursing homes and not, stuff. I know for sure the people that are administering the shots aren't just volunteers. They're not doctors, though. No, but um, doctors are the ones in- or And you know what they aren't, for sure? Detectives. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I, I, this is my job. She gives it to another lady, and the other lady comes up and goes, so comedy store, huh? I was like, yeah. Do you want to Google it? And you can see that yeah, there's tables look, look and a, a kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what more to do. She's like, you need your food runner's card or food Ooh, service card or whatever. Damn, that's good And I was point. like, I didn't, I don't bring that. I think my work has it. You should have been like, it's expired. Um, yeah. I, I mean, mean I work for a year. I got to get a new one. I no. just, I thought I was in the clear and then I get yeah. two more people asking me questions. And I was just like, listen, I have all this stuff. I don't know what else I need to bring. She's like, okay. I was like, we are a comedy club and we serve food. And it's called the comedy store. Yeah. We don't serve like we don't sell silly hats or you know. We do. But well, we sell regular hats. Some of them are silly. Um, but then finally she was just like, okay. And then she went and ran my stuff. And then she's like, I can't find your appointment. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. So I had to pull up the and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I don't really even want this shot. <laughs> I'm just doing it because Yeah, I'm doing it I'm supposed to. Because somebody told me to. <laughs> like I'm I don't I don't want to work this hard for whatever this so yeah, I got it. My next one's uh, my half birthday, which is kind of sad. Yeah, uh, I had a completely different experience. I drove to the forum, got in line in my car. They checked my appointment on my phone, took my temperature, and then literally no one asked me another question Damn. until they were like giving me the shot. Damn. And they're like, "Did uh, you have?" They asked, kept asking me, "Did you get a white piece of paper?" I was like, "No." And they were like, all right, well, that lady's going to give it to you. So I drove to the next lady, and she didn't give it to me. And I just pulled up, and they're like, she give you the white piece of paper? I was like, no. So then they just wrote down what time I got there, gave me the shot, gave me the card. Mm. And I just went and waited for like 15 minutes. Yeah, whole different experience. Yeah. I wonder, and tell me, you can tell me to fuck off if I'm wrong about this, but I wonder if they see a black guy come in and they go, listen, most of them are choosing not to get the vaccine for obvious reasons. 
Let's just let the other ones through. No, I'm not going to tell you fuck off. That's why I asked you on Thursday uh, if there are any black people there. Uh, they were all working. Oh, you didn't all, specify that. Oh, yeah. All the black people I saw were working. Oh. <laughs> and then all the other ones were. Uh, yeah, I mean, they probably see like bag. a goofy looking white dude in a Prius. Well, did you, were you in your car the whole time? Yeah. Sorry, goofy wasn't that, sorry. Yes. Uh, were you in your, you saw they, I don't know, maybe they thought you were like cutting ahead. And then you come with like comedy store. They're like, I don't know, this place can't. Yeah, I mean, sound like a restaurant. For whatever reason, all four of the volunteers didn't want me to get my shot, but that's okay. Yeah, anyway, bro. I had a good time. I, you know, I was jamming in my car, having fun. Yeah, I was uh, in a group chat. Oh, nice. People were like, Can you do this? I was like, I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, we got our, uh, we got tickets to. Well, I have two tickets to. Oh yeah. Life is beautiful festival. I don't want cash. I got cash. Oh my god, what am I gonna do with all that? All Here, right. just take cash. I'm not gonna take it in front of the camera, bro. Um, six hundred and fifty dollars. You guys hear that? That's the government yeah. hard at work. That is a plastic bag you put a cookie in. So, <laughs> for all those not watching, um, yeah, we're going to a music festival in September. Yep, excited. First one, first music festival, right? Back. Um, uh, it'll be my first in, music in, festival in the United States. No, I mean since COVID. Yeah, I mean, I think there's gonna be like many things over the summer and whatnot that probably pop so? up. Yeah, that quickly. Like the, yeah. It's, uh, we're we're not kicking the test, but who are we gonna are, see? Billie Eilish. You could just see your favorite band of all time, which I'm jealous of. Yeah, I can't wait to see Green Day, bro. I'm fucking. Pumped. Oh, Green Day. I was talking Tame Impala. I know. I like, I Green Day's gonna be fun. Also. Green Day's gonna be sick. Um, my favorite band will be there. Earth Gang. Um, JID, ASAP Rocky, some more guests. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Young Thug. Yeah. Yeah, gonna we're gonna have time. some fun. Yeah, it's gonna be in Vegas too. It sucks that we're gonna be sober during it, but that's like fun. I was saying. Well, yeah, sure. Um, my thing is the best part about it is after you're like done partying at a music festival all day it's like 12 or 1 a.m you're just in the middle of vegas yeah it's like sick we got a hotel that's on my time to shine we got a hotel on the block that the entrance is in to the festival yeah yeah it's pretty good good job guys everything i read online said stay on fremont street stay on fremont street our hotel boom right in the middle of fremont street yeah it's gonna be good we're gonna kill it i'm sorry none of you are going <laughs> you can if you want actually i told my boy tj to buy tickets, tickets. Might meet us there. yeah do it everyone should go i've been telling everybody actually that's not true <laughs> I, like, you I, don't want, never told anybody. I don't want anyone to come I did want to post about it on Instagram just to flex though It's my first festival I'm excited Yeah I know I'm happy for you dude Thank you This was my idea so you thank can thank me whatever you If ready. you ditch me for some hoes I mean bro afterwards after the shows I'm like I'm, once again I'm in Vegas like drunk I'm gonna find a, a fat girl or something Last time I went to Vegas I Well no that's the beauty of Vegas They're all fat <laughs> No, they're just, they're all there. Everyone's there for like a reason to have a good time. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, then don't, don't come sleep with me if you want to have a good time. Well, you know, I cry no. a lot and stuff. Yeah, they want, maybe not come talk to you. Maybe they want to like enjoy. No, talk to me. I'm fun <laughs> to talk to. Sometimes. I just, you know, carry a lot of sexual baggage. Um, that's not true. Actually. I have, I like to have sex when it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, to my mom, I've never had sex. Um, we'll talk about that too. Um, <laughs> your mom. Oh, sex? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to ask you, in honor of the Ides of March, mm -hmm. which is when Julius Caesar was stabbed in the back by his friend. By the homie. Brutus. Brutus. Uh, to Brutus. Who a lot of people call Morgan. No one calls me I Brutus. was wondering. No. No, call, call Brutus. I kind of remember nickname. that, right? The, no, someone, I just no? made that up. Um, yeah, it sounded familiar. Is there a Morgan in like in a Shakespeare play? Um, No. No, not one that's like treasonous? No, I don't think it's a real name. Morgan. Until much later in okay, the like the pirate Morgan was the first Morgan. I, I think. don't think that's true, but Morgan. That's how he said it. How do you know he's a Matthew was in the Bible? Yeah, I know that. So I guess I'm kind of an OG. But I wanted to ask you, what was your biggest betrayal by a friend you ever had? Biggest betrayal by a friend. And my fingers on the mute button. If you try to say something about me, no, you haven't betrayed me. Hey, biggest betrayal. You gotta ask me these before I get here, bro. <laughs> It's like have something I to just say. thought of it. Oh, biggest betrayal by a friend. Damn. Uh, so I'll tell mine then. All right. Yeah. Um, I just thought of this question. Oh, actually, I can tell you. Yeah, go. So we were in high school. It has to be less than 30 seconds. It will be quick. We were in high school. 30, my, my boy, Matt. 29. Come on, dude. Don't do that. Uh, my boy, Matt Sullivan. Uh, he was like having people over at his house. And uh, this isn't even that big of a betrayal. I was just being a dick. He was having people over at his house. And then a bunch of us came over. And like we... It was just like a very awkward energy in the room. Like they didn't want us to be there at all. So the next day we exchanged words at like basketball practice. That's the only thing I can really think of in terms of like betrayal. So what in that story would you consider the betrayal? Well, it was just a very conniving way of he was like having people over. But like, you know what I mean? It was didn't like you guys, you yeah, but like wouldn't just say like, you know what I mean? It was just very shady. What was? 
the way that they went about having people over without telling us. And then when someone told us and we you've, got there, everyone was just like, oh, weird. But you've it. never not wanted a certain person to come over, so you don't tell them to come over? Yeah. But I would not you like think that's be, shady? No, not being in contact with them the whole time. I wouldn't be like, oh, no, I'm not doing anything. That I would, there was a lie that happened. You've never done that? Oh, I've done, I do that a lot. I just, I just either won't answer the phone or I won't at parties, talk, I think know. at my birthday party, I specifically didn't invite certain people. Yeah, I know. But it's that's, just, it's but, just something you got to do to protect the party. Yeah, but it's different when it's like one of your best, you know, at the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Um, it's like I'm about to go play eight games of basketball with you the next day. Like Mine was, um, what was he, your friend or your teammate? No, he's, he's my good friend. Oh. I was at his wedding. Did he say this? Damn, son, where'd you find this? He's, Refer- pro- he's probably said that before in his he, life. He was referring to his house. <laughs> it's like, I know where your house is. <laughs> said, hey, you can't come to my party, and also... Damn, son, where'd you find this? I got another good one, too. Well, don't say another good one. I don't think that was a good one. Well, I have a, I have a better one. Okay. This person wasn't really my friend. How many do you have? This is the last one. Okay. We were just we were teammates on, uh, when I was playing college football, and it was like a summer session. And I remember uh, we were all like hanging out, smoking a blunt, and I think I left my wallet in their room. So I couldn't find my wallet all over the place. I was looking for it. And then finally it turned up in the middle of like our common area, and there was like 50 bucks missing. Hmm. So he stole 50 bucks from me. But then. Who was this? Same uh, guy? No, this, some kid named Shane. Oh. I went to college with. But then later that year, in uh, during our uh, summer sessions, like right before the preseason, uh, we were working out, and I was the last one out the locker room, and I stole his iPod and gave it to my friend TJ. Rude. You betrayed him more than he betrayed you. And I probably that's worth more than stole my fucking money. When he didn't lied about it. When he handed you your wallet, did you say, Damn, son, where'd you find this? No, I knew it was in his room. Oh. Um, mine happened in third grade. But they became like a crackhead. So Well Don't steal. So you guys are even. Um I Who even if I took the iPod. Mine happened in third grade. My my best friend's name was Kyle. It might have been fourth grade. My best friend's name was Kyle, and I um, since yeah, a lot of friends named Kyle. After I switched, yeah, they're good people. After I switched schools, I um, developed a crush for this girl named Kelly, and I was like hardcore. I think I'm gonna marry this girl, right? Second grade or whatever. Yeah, just a lot of emotions for a second grader. She was, I mean, she was perfect. Still is perfect. Um, mm, beautiful, nice, kind. Everything about her is perfect. And I asked her. It must have been fourth grade. I asked her to go to the skating party with me. And she talked to my friend, my best friend, Kyle. She said, hey, Matt asked me to, to the skating party and I think wants me to be his girlfriend. What should I say? Kyle said no. Kyle said, you should say no. And so she called me over. She said, hey, I have an answer for you. I said, what is it? <laughs> she said no. And Kyle was standing right there and everybody laughed at me. Did you ask me not to laugh at this? No, you can laugh yeah. if you want to. Just like them. Just like That's those mean kids. kind of funny, bro. Is it? I could be married to her right now, bro. More you, she got she has two kids. Is that what you want? Yeah. With her? I want in, anything in she Michigan? wants. I don't care where. As long as I'm with her. You gotta wherever she wants, man. She was so I don't perfect. think this this doesn't sound too healthy. Kelly Lockwood. Mm. There's got there's probably Kelly Lockwood. Kelly Daddy Lockwood. That's so yeah, I have a sister named strange Kelly. name. <laughs> Kelly what? Daddy Lockwood. I'm gonna I th- I think I'm gonna name my daughter uh Daddy Junior. <laughs> but maybe D D I D A D D I E, so it's um, feminine or whatever. That's awful. <laughs> what do you mean that's awful? Oh, well, we'll see. You don't have any say in it. I mean, you said it was bad for me to like want to name my pregnant. name my son or my daughter Morgan Junior. Yeah, that's fine. You said it was bad before. I, think. I mean, it, yeah, it is bad. Daddy Junior is a bit. Morgan Junior is sincere. You could you should only name your kids bits. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. Bits myself. I don't know if I've ever said this on the pod, but it's one of my jokes. I look like a father and his son had a kid. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, not if not if it's true. I don't want to like say like too much. If you had like a uh, like a bass pro fisherman shop or whatever, yeah, you'd be pulling off a little more. Not my baby Yoda hat. No, nah, baby Yoda hat just screams. I'm a. So I wear a baby. I'm a childless thirty year old. I wear a baby Yoda hat almost every day. Never ever once seen the Mandalorian. It's actually a baby Yoda meme hat. It says when your song comes on and he's got a fizz face. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen this fucking show, but it's a comfy hat. I like it. Show's not bad. I need. I mean, I go to stores to buy new hats. None of them fit like this one. Why don't you just order? Why don't you find out? Like I've ordered hats online. No, but like, look at the company that made that hat. You want to know what company it is? No, 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 no. Listen, here's what I'm saying. Yeah. Not the company that made the hat, the meme hat. The company, the, the actual hat that it's made out of. Yeah, you, you want know? me to tell you what it is? Yeah. On the tag? Yeah. Star Wars. 
Wow. Never mind. I mean, uh, it's a good suggestion, and I did try it. Yeah. And the only tag on, on this app <laughs> says Star Wars. Star Wars. So maybe you can only wear Star Wars hats from that one. I guess. Maybe I'll just get into Star Wars. Yeah, get a nice little Han Solo. Ooh, I could do that. What's the black dude? Han Solo? No. The Donald Glover. No. Yeah, Donald Glover. What's his character? Darth Maul. Darth Vader. Nope. Well, Vader, Vader is played by James Earl Jones. But um, Jabba the Hutt is brown. No. God damn. Oh, some of the Ewoks? No. Oh, um, wait. Don't say it. Oh, I can think of it. Don't say it. Look it up, but don't say it. Mando. Lando Calrissian. Yeah, Lando. Ooh. I don't even watch those movies. You don't like Star Wars? I mean, maybe I haven't Aren't watched Aren't you like it. a Lord of the Rings guy, though? No, Harry Potter. Yeah. I Harry mean, Potter. I think Star Wars is better than... I read The Hobbit, and boy, was my arms tired. The so, Hobbit? Like that. I read that in, like, eighth grade. Um, I you, guess, man. Can I tell you my trauma of why I don't like Lord of the Rings? Sure. Um, in high school... Also, I, I think, like, let's be careful with uh, classifying this as trauma. But go Why? Ahead. It, it affected me in a is, negative is way. Is it really that traumatic? All right, go ahead. Yeah, hell yeah, it's traumatic. Is everything that affects you in a negative way, is that trauma? I think so. Or is some of that just, like, growth and, like, learning shit? Trauma helps you grow. Okay, but... Because I think of trauma in, like, a negative connotation, whereas, like, I think, like, learning how to lose, is that... Is that trauma? Or that's something learning you, something isn't trauma. Yeah, but learning losing losing, losing, losing traumatically is, and learning from it. Right. You know. Okay. Losing isn't trauma. For, I mean something bad negative that happened to you though. Um, maybe. If you lose your, like, your goal was to win and you lost. Sure. Yeah, I don't think that counts as trauma though. All if right. you lose the state championship because you your foot falls off or whatever, that's it's trauma. traumatic. No. Um I wanted to be an actor in high school. And I was in the play, the musical, the dinner theater, all that stuff, right? The dinner theater? Yeah, it's like uh, half improv, half whatever. It's just like fun. It, it really teaches you how to be an actor. Not only are you in the play, but you also serve the meal. We don't serve it. No, it's like oh. people you, People come in and they're served a meal while they watch the show. You and guys should serve the meal too, because that really prepares you for it. It's like the actor <laughs> okay. in Los Angeles. Okay. <laughs> um, no, we. it was like uh, interactive with the crowd, the play was. Um, like they would choose what happened or whatever. Um Let's talk more about this menu quickly. What would they serve at dinner theater? Oh, I don't know. It was in a fucking church rec room. It was probably like frozen chicken and shit. No, no, no. It was buffet style Ugh. chicken nugs. <laughs> I got you at the end. Um, no, it's um. so what happened was the play director, the musical director loved me. The dinner theater directors uh, thought I was a little too loud. The play director hated me. Um, probably because I would steal all those bitches and shit. <coughs> I'm not sure what it was, but I think it was something to do with that. He thought I was a bully. And you're you're a self admitted bully. My yeah, but you know, I like a like a if you're self aware and nice. Yeah, you're not you're just I was a bully not, to be funny. Yeah. You know, I wasn't actually mean. picking on people. Um and here's here's the argument I got in with him is because there's a lot of weirdos in the play. Mm -hmm. You know, in the musical it's like talented weirdos, Shout so, so they're not as weird. You know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He was in the play. Um, in the musical, they're like talented and you have to sing and dance. So you can't be that weird. In the play, it's all fucking weirdos. And I would like, this is going to try to justify me being a bully, but it's like, I would like include them, include everybody. Every, we're all one. We're all a cast. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I was very anti-clicky inside of these casts. And so when people would come around, you know, we'd all laugh at each other and, and do whatever. And he saw that as bullying. But if you ask the kid, they'd be like, "No, we're, he was like, like yeah, he's nicer around. to me than anybody else yeah. here. He accepts me for who I am or whatever." So that was the argument I had with him. But he didn't like me. And my ju my junior year, we did the Hobbit, and he he cast me in the play with one line, and I was so pissed off. What was the line? I was like, so I was a demon king or whatever, and I, they put like, uh, what's it called? It's, uh, the big red guy. Um, I was green. He might have been red. I I never read it. Um, or no, I did read it, but I don't remember it. Um, he was like a goblin king, and there was just one scene where the hobbits get trapped in like a cave, and I come out and say like, "Who enters the cave?" That was your only line. And then I leave. How long do you work on that for? A play, like three months, three or four months. Yeah. Damn. And that Every was it? day, and that's it. And so, what would you and, do the rest of the time? In the meantime, in the musical, I'm one of the leads. In well, the dinner theater, I'm one of the leads. What What would you do the rest of the time at play practice? Bully kids. It's kind of his fault. A little bit. Give me something to do. Yeah. You know? Don't put me on the bench, bro. Or like... Uh, so my senior year, I just didn't even try out. I said, fuck you. Wow. Yeah. I don't I think I don't think he even remembers who I am, but... I think he does. <laughs> yeah, probably, actually. Probably listens to this. What's up, fucking English What's teacher? Up, Mr. Sanders? Fuck you, No, you Mr. know what Sanders. he was? What? One of the school counselors. Oh, fuck you, Counselor Sanders. About five foot one, 
Hunchback. <laughs> he looked like a hobbit. You sniveling little bitch. Hairy ass feet and shit. Yeah, if I ever see you in Michigan, it's a wrap. I think he was a good guy, probably. Huh? Didn't like my boy. I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bro. I ride. Shout out to Mrs. Ruloff, though. Shout out to Cocaine Bear. And Cocaine Bear. What's I do want to talk about that. What is that? Uh, so they're making a movie. Apparently, it was a thing that happened. I think it was Alaska or like somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I, I don't know if it was the CIA, but they dropped like 15 million. Is Alaska the Pacific Northwest? No, but I think it was Alaska or the... I know it happened in America. I'm just oh, not sure okay. if it was Alaska or the Pacific Northwest. But uh, the, the DEA or the CIA, they dropped like $15 million worth of cocaine. And a bear came and ate it and then terrorized the town. Is that true? Yeah. They're making a movie about it. Where'd they drop it? I, actually, I'll look at Let me look. Like how? Like out of a helicopter or something? Yeah. I should probably be more prepared before I do things like this. Yeah. Um, I mean, is that all you had to say? Is they're making a movie about it? They're making a movie about it, but I also wanted to, I, I just wanted to say, there's no way they could like make this movie bad. You know who they should cast as the bear? Who? You. I was going to say Burt Kreischer if they want to make it like a family fun film. If they want it to be yeah. like a little dirtier and still like kind of funny, maybe a Tracy Morgan. Should be you. If they want to go for like a CGI, like Cocaine Bear. Should be you. I think that'll still work if they want to do it like an art house piece. I mean, the bear's probably going to be an animal, right? Yeah, but I'm saying no matter what they do with it, even if they do it like a, like art, like it should a, be a musical. What was the fucking show where the guy is dressed up as a dog? Rugrats. No, you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, cat dog. Oh, Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I know. I know. I know. Just don't say anything. I know. I know. I know what it is. Um, Snoop Dogg, the TV show. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. I know what it is. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, wait. Was it Wilfred? Yeah, it was Wilfred. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you know that the whole time? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, yeah, but if they want to shoot it like that, that could be funny they too. Just stonewall me like that. I mean, I was just letting you go, and you just came up with that. I literally was just looking up the Coke Camper Bear story. I wanted to uh, wait till you looked up Wilfred and then say it right before you got to no, it. No, I just started looking up Coke Camper Bear. So uh, uh, it was a smuggler, and the bag of cocaine fell out like a plane in Knoxville. So it wasn't the CIA? No. No. Oh. I made a mistake. Why did you think it was the government? Because I think everything's the government. I got a little bit of a. DB Cooper? DB Cooper was sick. Da Bear Cooper? The bear, Cooper. Also, this guy, the cocaine bear, before it died for like seven hours before like a heart exploded, there was nothing. How much coke was it? $15 million worth of coke. Uh, I don't know how much that is. <laughs> Have you done that much in your life? No. Maybe, though? No. <laughs> $15 million, you would know about it. Uh, what was I going to say? It might be expensive. $15 million. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but just think about the last seven hours of that bear's life. Probably fun. <sighs> Amazing. I don't know. Is it fun to get all fucked up on cocaine? I think so. It looks like, fun. Like that fucked up? I don't know about that fucked up, but also you're talking about like a big ass bear. True. He's like an apex predator. It's not like he's like thinking about like emotion stuff. He's just like, just yeah. like going, you know what I mean? And yeah, just went on a rampage. Yeah, until his heart exploded. Did he kill anybody? I don't know. So Maybe that's the, the one that got that kid I used to bully. <laughs> I don't think that kid had a chance. Yeah, like cocaine, cocaine bear. bear. And it happened in like 1985. Um. Did oh? Did you watch any of the Grammys? Yeah, I watched the whole show actually. How was it? Um, I will say this. Shout out to Trevor Noah. That's a hard fucking show to host. He hosted. Like, yeah. Oh wow. That's a hard. Was it show. on Comedy Central or something? No, it was on CBS. They couldn't get anyone. Yeah. <coughs> Trevor Noah's pretty big. As far yeah, as I guess he's go. probably the best one to say yes. Best, most safest too. Yeah. Also, like a guy who can like kind of carry that good forth. internet connection. Did I have good internet connection? No. Did he? Was what? it all Zoom? No. Oh, oh, I thought it was Zoom. No, so it was weird. So they had like probably like 20 or 30 tables in there, and it would just be like, here's Beyonce's table. Here's like the Eilishes. Here's Dua Lipa. Here's Harry Styles. And it was just like four rows of that, just like going all the way back. It was huh. kind of cool to watch. Huh. So only the best and the brightest. Yeah, dude, it, kind of, it was like felt like a banquet almost. Interesting. Who won? Who was the big winner? Uh, Billy won record of the year. Dua Lipa won something. Uh, her one song of the year or some shit like that. Oh, nice. Taylor Swift won something else. Meg Thee Stallion won a couple awards. Very good. Uh, the only guy I saw won an award was Harry Styles. Who's all, the big winner? All the Us classics. for getting to see Bruno and uh, Anderson Cooper. Anderson Pac. Anderson, Anderson Cooper. Bruno Mars and Anderson Cooper yep. collaborated on the song. <laughs> um, they performed? Yeah, oh, twice. Nice. Oh, good. They did their new single, which is cool. Like, they were kind of... haven't listened to it. It's a great song. I'm waiting for the album. They are kind of like... Uh, they performed in like a 70s like duop group and like uh, Anderson would start off singing like the lead and then he would like dance Do a little around. bit for us. 
What the song? Yeah. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I think that's how it goes. I don't know. Don't but, get us flagged on YouTube. Yeah, but he would. Uh, so he would like rotate out and then like rotate in back to like with the backup singers and like doing their like two step and then Bruder would like war- uh, rotate. Okay, out to, like, maybe. Like, yeah, we'll just watch it. Yeah, it was cool. It was. It was a. It was a good performance. Nice. Thank you. Thank God for the Grammys, huh? Yeah, who else was good? How else do we know what music to listen to? Post, no, Jesus Christ. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> they gave Nas a hip-hop album of the year. Did he have an album last exactly. year? Exactly. Whoa. Yeah. Who should have won it? Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, they're not going to give it to him. I mean, they should have. He's too scary. Is he? Yes. He made an album with Alchemist. He's like a little he ta- fucking... He talks like this. Yeah, but he's, he had the best rap album. Hey, what's up? I'm Freddie Gibbs. Well, if you want any like credibility to the awards, yeah, just give it to... what's going on? Don't give it to Nas on what his sixth best album has he won? Has Nas ever won? That was his first Grammy. Yeah, so it's it's one of those. Yeah, but like let's stop, but let's stop doing this. <laughs> just give him the Grammy when Illmatic I mean, comes out. We're much too late to stop doing that. I guess you're right, but it's just it's annoying. Yeah, well the Grammy sucks. Daisy's we got, should start our own award show. People try and do that all the time. I think. Well, we could. The weekend's no more longer submitting music to the Grammys either. Yeah, he's no more longer. That's crazy. He's no more longer. <laughs> no more longer the weekend. I mean, more people should be like him, but whatever. No, nah, it boosts your career too much. Does it? Yeah. Oh, you're right. I've never heard of Billie Eilish before the Grammys. That's a terrible comparison. Everyone you just named is the most famous artist in the world. Yeah, but they all have like eight Grammys. Sure. But the Grammys give oh, it I'm to... Saying, I'm saying though, it boosts... It definitely boosts people. So like someone, who? So someone like her last night who won Song of the Year, that's definitely way more people who are hearing about her music than would have before that show. Mm, maybe. Without a doubt. Maybe. So, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't think you can say without a doubt. I mean, there's what are more st- people know about her now than did before. What, are her, Grammy yesterday. what are her streaming numbers compared to what were yesterday they? to today? You think I have that number off the top of my head? Well, you, <laughs> you should. Look you gotta, too, bro. You, you got to come in with this. I'm just saying it definitely boosts her. I'm, I like Dua Lipa now. What do you mean? Because you saw her at the Grammys? Yeah, it was you, cool. You, sh- you would like Dua Lipa, bro. Why? All the girls you hang out with love Dua Lipa. The girls I hang out with don't like Dua she Lipa. She sucks. The girls I hang out with like, like fucking Patty Smith. And like no, Kira. they don't. No, they don't. They love Dua Lipa. You know. They, oh, bro, I've met the girls you hang out with. No, you haven't. You've those, met one. Those women love Dua Lipa. You, I you, promise. You, you met one girl that I did and she bro. likes like fucking uh, like country. Bro. Well, she's different. Every girl that you've brought back to your apartment went home, and on the way home, they listened to at least one Dua Lipa song. I promise. No. I promise. No, no, no. no. I guarantee it. No. I'll put all that money you brought for me, I'll put that on the table. Who's that sad girl that from New York? Lana Del Rey. They're more like Lana Del Rey girls. Sure. They're but, not Dua Lipa girls. Dua Lipa's a little too happy. But They probably like Billy. Um, yeah, everyone likes Billy. Yeah. They probably say they like Lana, but they love Dua Lipa. I disagree. I mean, you can. You can. I mean, you're judging this off of four random girls who I've never talked to. I'm judging it off of the idea of girls that I know you like. (laughs) I'm I'm not talking about You're not talking about actual people? I don't need to. No, I don't need to. (laughs) That's so ridiculous. I I know the girls you're interested in, bro. And they fucking love That's so so crazy. The girls that you like, actually, the girls that you were interested to, and I'm talking about actual people now, Yeah, they they definitely like Dua Lipa. No. They like like bad baby and shit, bro. No. Dude, you like bad baby? (laughs) I, we can text every girl I'm talking to right now. We can because we're them, using our phones to record none of, Okay, after this. None of them like Dua Lipa. Say. We can finish the car. That's the biggest difference between us. What? That they Yours like Dua, mine don't. Yeah, but mine don't actually. You're just assuming yeah, that. Yeah, they do. No, <laughs> you, 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 you're just projecting this on me. Bro, if we went to a Dua Lipa concert, you would be in heaven. Yeah, I like how many people. I would be bored if we went to a... I, first off, I don't think I'd go to a Dua Lipa concert. I just like being a fan of her because I think she's cool. Okay, what are the girls that I like? Who's their favorite artist? Uh, probably a lot of Billy. Probably a lot of Taylor Swift. That. Probably some Taylor. No. You're, you got some Beyonce fans. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, for sure. But also, More than Taylor. every woman likes Beyonce. Right. Yeah, so that doesn't count. Right, okay. I think Taylor's in their real house a little bit. I mean, they don't think they talk about it as much, but they definitely listen to some Taylor. Yeah, listen, I think everyone listens to Taylor. I, I just think that people who like her, because the girls that I, well, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't. I don't know. I don't like Taylor. I don't like Taylor. Me neither. It's okay. I did for a second yesterday. I thought that she was winning uh, Grammys for an album that she re-recorded, and I was like, you know what? Album of the year. 
If that's the case, you're kind of. I was corrected. Part two or whatever. 1989. 1989. Good album though. Yeah, sure. It's good. It's good. It's that's, good all, yeah. that's what Taylor is. She's good. good. Yep. Agreed. Fuck and you. Good. Doesn't deserve as snake. much hype as she gets. She's a snake. Who else was there yesterday? Team Kanye, baby. It was Dua Le- a lot of Dua Lipa. I just think Taylor's so boring. But you know what I'm thinking though? After like hearing all these like records of the years, like Blinding Lights is a better song than all of them. Sure. It's like yeah, it's just I understand the weekend's beef. I mean, they, he wouldn't have won though. No, for sure. But blind, like we can objectively say Blinding Lights is a better song. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what song I really like? Well, Take the Long Way Home by Supertramp. It's just a good song. You know what other song I like? What? Oh, God damn it. Did you figure out how to stop it? Thank oh, God. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we got to listen to that whole thing. Whew. Um, Yeah, have fun with your fucking Dua Lipa girls. What'd you do this if, weekend? If she was at the fucking uh, festival, bro, yeah. you would be so happy. I probably would. That's, she you, makes you just bangers. You love Dua Lipa. She's the one who sings the... Step one, step one, don't pick up the phone. You know you're only con because you're drunk and alone. I, 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 whatever I was listening to yesterday, I was like, this is good. That song is I enjoy this. trash. That song is trash, and you know how, how much music I like. Bro, I know how much music you like. I know how much you like pop music, like uh, lady singers and whatnot. Yeah. I don't. Whatever I saw yesterday was listened to. I like her vibe. All right. I fucks with Maybe Julie I'll Pro. give her a try, but I don't even know if I, man, I'm week. not even saying I like the music that much. I'm just saying I like her as a person. She seemed pretty cool. What do you mean you like her as a person? I like what she was giving off, bro. Oh, I saw a picture of Doja Cat. Yeah, she performed she yesterday too. She looked crazy in the outfit. Yeah, the, the black thing. I didn't. If you you could have given me a hundred guesses to guess who that was, I wouldn't have said Doja Cat. Yeah, she changes race and gender and size and <laughs> fucking everything. Uh, yeah, on a daily basis. Uh, Meg and Cardi B did a thing yesterday too. Dojo Cat rules though. Um, who was the wh- who performed where all the girls were doing splits? Who do you think? As yeah. I just told yeah. you, Meg and Cardi. Megan B. and Cardi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I saw a picture of them. They all the people doing splits were getting tired and yeah, they're barely like scissoring each other and shit. It was fucking fire. Um. Yeah. I love Megan. And I love Cardi. Just came up there, like, the horniest dude ever. He's like, I can't believe I'm in the bed with Cardi B. I think Cardi B should be on Mount Rushmore, bro. Of what? Mount, on Mount Rushmore. So like, Add uh, her to the list. She's next. She's my fucking no president. No more presidents, just Cardi. I fucking love yeah, Cardi Cardi's B, bro. Shit. Cardi's awesome. Damn. I've been on, yeah, for a while. And, and I'll say this, you know, all respect to Nikki, and Cardi wouldn't be here without Nikki, but Cardi is the fucking queen, bro. All respect to Nikki, but Cardi, Cardi does it better. If they pulled up on each other, who would win? Cardi. Easily. Yeah, Cardi would kill her. I mean, Nikki's badass too, though. I love Nikki. Yeah, but I think, and we, I, do we have to compare them? I mean, you did. But I know, we, but that's just kind of like the the. That's the easy comparison. There's room to love everybody. For sure. about a I lot. totally agree with you. Uh, I just, but I would, say, I would say, uh, Bodak Yellow, top five all time songs. Cardi, yeah, Cardi's a monster. She's such a good rapper. She's Damn. got got like energy. So and nasty. Yeah, I love them nasty bitches. And she hasn't had like her Be little mean. pop phase yet. Yeah. Nikki's still riding off of like that one verse. Super bass. Monster. Yeah. Oh, that's when everyone touches. <laughs> that boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 That's the shit that's like, bro, you can't be queen if you make songs like that. No. And she had the other one. You was can be queen California if you Girls? make songs like. California Girls was fun though. That's Katy Perry. Oh yeah, it was Katy Perry. Oh, Super Bass was a Nikki song that was out around the same time. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, Super Bass is trash. I drove across the country that summer with, a, with just the radio. We were just changing like every state we got to and it was a Always lot of fucking Super Bass and California Girls. Um. Yeah, that song. It remind. It's just like it's like fucking reminds me of the Black Eyed Peas. It's just like, but like black make bad better black music than this. Yeah, you it's know? not. It doesn't have to be this. Poor Fergie. Or like Nikki, like you could be like you were so innovative with like the other shit. Just like keep going in that direction. You don't have to just go like full pop. But also get your money, girl. Do you ever listen to Fergie songs? Uh, only uh, London Bridge. London Bridge, glamorous, Fergalicious. Like glamorous. Bro, all those songs go so hard. G-L-A-L. She should have been solo the whole time. Yeah. Will I am held her back with his fucking first class. Do, 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 pop the champagne, living my life in the fast lane. I won't change the glamorous. Flossy, flossy. Yeah, it's a bar. Um, yeah, she got she got like three bangers. London Bridge goes hard. London Bridge goes. Fergalicious goes hard. Oh, my humps. That's a black eyed piece on that. Yeah, but that's Fergie, bro. I mean, yeah, it's all yeah. You think Will I Am is writing my humps? <laughs> it's not, is, is that you that know? much above him? <laughs> no, he can't write. Have you ever heard him rap? No, he is one of the I worst. Mean, I have, but I don't. I don't like talking negatively about musicians, <laughs> even though that's all we've been doing this. I've been doing this. Yeah, <laughs> like, um, I've been appreciating people. Will I Am is maybe the worst musical artist of all time. 
That's false. I think he is. No, Who's bro. worse? Than Will I Am? Yeah. Who's worse? Worse than Will I Am. Let's see. I mean, Mason Ramsey's better than fucking Will I Am. That's subjective. I don't think he's better than Will I Am. He is. A better musician. He is. Who's worse than Will I Am? Was Will I Am on the Old Town Road remix? Didn't think so. No, but he would have crushed it. Who's worse than Will I Am? Uh, like Wright said Fred is better than fucking Will I Am. No. Let me go through my recent plays because there's something probably that's worse than Will I Am. I don't know, man. You were listening to Flume? Yeah. All right. Wait, how do you know that? Because it says so on your friend activity in Spotify. Uh-oh. Yeah, Flume rules. I'm, I'm, I didn't know you like him. I'm a fucking EDM boy now after that desert trip. Oh. I mean, a little bit. I like the EDM with the rappers. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Calvin Harris put out an album a couple years ago. There's a couple features on there. All right. You should check it out. Somebody said he might be the special guest. Uh, yeah, because they're saying he's supposed to put out an album. But if you look at like people who like could potentially put out music this year beforehand, it could fucking be anybody, man. Right. We'll just wait. You just know it's not going to be like a big headliner like Kendrick or something because yeah. he would be one of the big three. Yeah, it's got to be someone worse than Tame and Paula, which isn't that many artists. No, it could be anybody, though. It could just be like a Travis Scott if he put something out. Yeah, but you don't think he'd headline? I think he might. Yeah, but it's like also like special guests are like the first big one is like the same thing as headline, really. I guess. Um, you're surprised yesterday announced like a week before yeah I do I have some bad also can we just like just in general as a group can we just cut down the Tame Impala hate for like the next six months no or one's so? hating yeah you're like burn the Tame Impala it's, come on it wasn't black bro I mean <laughs> I got ears I just you know it's just, no, it's just no need and we could all just be soaked for a green day you know yeah that's gonna be that's gonna my, be so much fun you understand my plan is to memorize every Tame Impala song so I can have fun at the <laughs> concert <laughs> I'm not going to go you, in and be grumpy. You want me to make you a playlist to start? Oh, yeah. Shit, I know they're going to play? Place, yeah. Give me songs you know they're going to play. For sure. Yeah, I'll, give you, I'll give you like eight that I know for yeah, sure they're going to play. Do that. Right, yeah, and I'll learn down. them all and then we'll have a good time. All right. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. They're like the, of, of the whole list, I'm, I, they're probably like, I'm like maybe number 26 most excited to see. So we're going to have a lot that's of- That's not true. <laughs> Um, Maybe if you said like 10th I'd be like that's legitimate But 26 is I've been listening to some of the bands That are going to be there yeah. Some good shit in there Yeah Emotional Oranges uh, Great name I haven't checked them out Never but. heard of them Vibey ass shit Not good but you know yeah. Vibey That's the best part about festivals Is like those like uh, Like a 330 act Yeah It's like right before the people You really know And you're just like Whoa who is this Yeah yeah and you're yeah. just like I'm getting a Chelsea Wolf t-shirt Yeah I'm excited That chick was awesome Yeah um, Little side stages and shit oh, I love This is going to be so much fun yeah, getting lost. Hey, just meeting up with people like get, fucking a couple hours later. Let's get excited as we can because it's only six months away, bro. It's gonna fly by. I mean, maybe it is. I'm telling you. Uh, I I have some bad news to transition. How, we need a transition button. How about this one? Damn, son, what? No. It's snacks. I didn't change any of them. Yeah, don't, get rid of the the national anthem. <laughs> it's so funny to me. It is. But- it's snack season, baby. <laughs> I mean, when that band hits, that's something else. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the same thing. So always. Let me, I'm going to write this down. I need a transition button. Trans button. Um, I want a choo-choo train. And uh, what else did I say? Oh, game show buzzer. Could you get a cash register too? <laughs> yeah. Could we get more buttons? Um, No, I only have eight. All right, we have to figure it. I think you might be able to like switch. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, oh cool. So we can do a bunch, huh? Un- oh, uh, I mean, 24. That's enough. So we still have these two. <laughs> that's a good transition. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, start over. Start over. Wait, wait. That's when we start talking about Q. Oh, that's a good transition. That's a good transition button. And then this is uh, every time you try to say something funny. Yeah, you did that joke before <laughs> we first got the board. It's still funny. Is it? And this is every time I say something funny. People... Why are they laughing before they start cheering? Um, because they, they're laughing and then they understand how good of a joke it actually is. Oh, uh, then and you so get the... It kicks okay. in to go, gotcha. wow, look, we also have to cheer more. And then, of course, we have... <laughs> the fake theme song. All right. Um, so I have some bad news. My mother decided to... On Wednesday, decided to come visit on a whim. She came here, I picked her up on Friday morning, hung out all weekend. Um, she was supposed to leave this morning, giving me the whole day. Her flight got canceled because of storms. The storms? She's leaving tomorrow morning instead, but I went and spent the day with her again. Where are there storms? In Michigan? Colorado and Chicago. Oh. 
I didn't watch our movie. That's, that's right. I forgot what movie I was supposed to watch. We were supposed to watch. I think it was Boys in the Hood, right? No, we watched that last week. It was Love and Basketball. I've written down. I watched Boys in the Hood. Yeah, last oh, week. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, Love and Basketball. Yeah. I would have watched the wrong movie. <laughs> I would have rewatched Boys in the Hood. <laughs> Okay, love and basketball. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we'll just <laughs> you watch Boys in the Hood. Just feel like, this is oddly familiar. I mean, like I, lo- yeah, I think I've seen this before. Well, Ice Cube's in this one too. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's do love and basketball next week. All right. Um, and then we'll just score it next week. Did I watch anything good this week? Oh yeah, uh, one of my favorite shows came back. What? Uh, fuck. What's it called? I, uh, I can tell it's one of your favorites. Uh, Last Chance You. Oh yeah, I started watching that. The basketball, basketball yeah. Yeah, the football one. The so this is like, did you finish it? No, I'm on like three. Uh, this one is a lot better of like a feel good, yes. like coming together story. Did you watch the football ones? Yes. Yeah, those are those are great TV, but it's like all that shit's fucked up. Yes. Like from first, top to bottom. First football one is like good TV. You're, you're, I was like, oh, I, I enjoy watching this. It's, you know, it's a lot of mm-hmm. tragedy and shit. Yeah. And the coach is an asshole. Second one was like, this guy sucks. A lot of these players aren't that interesting. And this kid might have killed somebody. Yeah. Third one was like. I didn't finish the third one. I was just kind of like, this guy's an ass piece of shit. Trying to do the same thing yeah. again, and it's not. That this good. is like I'd like I genuinely liked everybody that this was about. Yeah, and the coach rules. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, so watch that. Yeah, it's just a, it's just about like uh, JUCO players who should have went pro, but have like. There's one guy should have went pro. There's one guy who was like fucked up in high school. This other kid, his mom died. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's really good. Um, good show. Um, it's also very 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 thick LA accents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, funny. yeah. It's funny. <laughs> Shout out LA. You gotta East get the board. That's where I went East to. East Los Angeles Community College. That's where I went are to you college. In East, well, no, it's not, but why are you in East Los Angeles today? I wasn't. Uh, they said that's where I went today. No, I, I was in Atwater Village. Oh. Nick should came and said hi. Shout out ATV. My mom did ask about you. What, what'd you tell her? She's like, I want to meet Morgan. You're like, no, you don't. I was like, hmm. <laughs> you will. You didn't even make an attempt. Uh, I mean, we had three days together. Yeah, I know. Sunday was a, we had a baby shower all day. My first ever baby shower. I was busy all weekend too. Yeah. You were getting vaxxed on Saturday. I got vaxxed on Sunday. Sunday. I went to, uh, so fucking Friday night, my boy Mike hits me up and he shows me a picture. What's up, Mike? Yeah. So I'm from back home and he's like, uh, I was like, is that Burbank? And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, you're in town. He's like, yeah, I told you like two weeks ago. I was like, you never told me any of this. And he was like, ah. He's like, well, I'll see you in like next couple days. I was like, yeah, for sure. So Friday night, I was already at my boy's house uh, downtown, and it was a party. It was like all Mexican people and me. It wasn't a party. It was probably like eight people. A lot of salsa dancing, though. A whole lot. Nice. They love that shit. Nice. And then and then uh, Saturday, I went out with Mike, uh, Rebecca, his girlfriend, and her cousin Anna to Thea in West Hollywood. And That's probably why you're sick. You got COVID. No, I don't have COVID, dude. You I, might. No, I don't. How do you know that? for sure? How I know I don't have COVID? Yeah. I'm not that sick. I could taste everything. Yeah, but I know people that had COVID and weren't sick at all. Uh oh, Morgie has COVID. I also got the vac, so. We'll yeah, one vac. Yeah, one vac. You need two. I know. When's your next? Uh, April 4th. May the April the 4th be with you. Don't May, do that. May April the 4th be with you. Okay. Oh, but uh, I went to Thea and I have a problem with, uh, well, I guess it's ending today, so it's not really a problem anymore. What, indoor dining? We need the clubs back open. You do? No, I do so I can enjoy a nice dinner. At like a reputable restaurant. It was too fucking loud. All the kids there were treating it like it was a club. Just dancing, grinding with each other in line for the fucking bathroom. Oh, you need clubs open so you can go to restaurants. Yes. And just enjoy a peaceful dinner. Yeah. This is like fucking super well-renowned, like five star. I just wanted like a good meal. And it's just so fucking loud. I couldn't even talk to my friends. Um, Maybe get takeout next time. It's fair. We'll see. That's an idea. Um... I have one more idea. I don't. I might have said this before on the pod. I don't remember. Um, but I was thinking about how women watch those um, true crime documentaries about the bitches that kill their husbands and shit. Yeah. And how, um, like when men, when we watch football and basketball, we're like, you know, we I, I kind of watch that because it's like, I kind of wish I could do that and like I respect their abilities and their talents. And I think that that, like these women who kill their husbands, these snatch TV shows and stuff. I think that's women's think version of like sports. sports. It's interesting. Where they're like, damn, I wish that would have been me. See, I thought their version of sports was like real housewives of like Atlanta and shit. No, that's just yelling. Yeah, that's that's sports to them. No, but there's no strategy or there's no like yeah, there is. being good at that. Their strategy to 
I think so. Here's the strategy of that. Their strategy in saying like shitty things to people, but in like a funny zingy way that they're just arguing, right? And arguing is sports for women. No. So the strategy in reality TV it's shows definitely not killing people. The strategy killing their mates. The strategy in reality TV shows is um, does not come from the cast members. It comes from the producers. True. You're right. And many times the producers are mixed. Mixed. Genders. Oh, okay. Men and women. Yeah. And it's just a team of strategists. Yeah, it's true. And all these bitches who kill their husbands and bury them and get away, almost get away with it and shit. It's all women. Oh, it's not going to be men killing their husbands. Well, not yet. Well. Give it a little. That's what I'm saying. And then, you know, I just think they that, that, that might be their sports since they don't like sports. But I think. Some, Traditionally. I think, yeah. But yeah, thank you for ruining the joke. Um, <laughs> You're welcome Did you get your stimmy money yet? No I didn't Damn me neither I got a letter saying I'm gonna get it I was just gonna bring you like 200 bucks And you'd be like hey bro Just wait a little bit But What's there? How much? 400 I owe you $10 Ooh Okay What am I gonna do with cash? Put in the bank I don't have a bank Oh yeah I'm sorry It's okay I'll Do just... you want me to take a deposit And then Venmo you real quick? No I'll buy some shit I don't want you to do that I'm gonna Well I'm getting a couch tomorrow Okay So that's 100 bucks um. Yeah, maybe I'll just buy stuff for the house with it. Get some NFTs. I'm, I also want to buy a picnic table for outside, so maybe I'll just find That'd be nice. Picnic table. What if we record outside? Would that be fun? Yeah, it just stops raining all the time. Yeah, for real. This city. Fucking pain in the ass last couple it, days. This city. Hey, is a fly an animal? Me and my mom had this argument today. Is a fly? Yeah. Yeah, I said, I said yeah, too. And she's like, it is? Yeah, it's an insect, which is a goofy. part of the animal kingdom. My mom's so goofy, bro. Yeah, that's a silly mom argument. Yeah, we like, and then we pulled in other people, and everyone was like, "Yeah, obviously it is." Yeah. Um, but one guy or my sister was like, "I don't think it is either," and I was like, "No, it literally." So what is. is it? Well, we looked it up, and an animal is any living organism that feeds on other living organisms, or something like that. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that discludes plants because yeah. plants feed on soil and some and like single cell organisms. And yeah. Shit. Yeah. Or, yeah. So we are animals. Flies are animals. What about like bacteria? I don't know. I was gonna. So, do viruses feed on us, or they just try and kill us? But also, there's like a confusion in the science community if viruses are even alive. Animals, a, a living organism that feeds on organic matter, typically having specialized sense organs and nervous system, and able to respond rapidly to stimuli. So, yeah, I think that I think that's a fly. Speaking of flies, of relating to, resembling, or derived from animals, animal instincts, animal behavior. What? Well, that doesn't make sense. What is not an animal? A plant, a uh, fungus, uh, like a barnacle is an animal. This says humans aren't animals. Aren't? Yeah, but that's this is some fucking website. Yeah, you're on some Q shit. Um, that's not real. That's not real fucking science. Ooh, there's a picture of a meerkat. So those cute. are definitely animals. Me- meerkats are cute as shit. You ever been to the San Diego Zoo? No, I'm going to the zoo on Thursday. The this one? Yeah. You LA. got you reserve your place already? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Let me know if it's fun because I want to go too. Yeah, I'm going with uh, my friends and their baby. You are their baby. No, I'm. Do a baby noise. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hey, poo poo, my diaper. Okay, stop. Stop doing baby noises. Can you change my diaper? Stop doing baby noises. I don't want to stop doing baby voices. I like the voice now. Stop. Do you have anything else? <laughs> Before we do f- Fuck Mary Kill? Yeah. Azalea Banks sold a sex tape. It's. Well, okay. And you bought it? No. With I your have, stimulus? I don't have $17,000. Yeah, right. I don't. <laughs> she sold it for $17,000, and then that got sold for $150,000 worth of, or $150,000, uh, what the fuck is ETH? Ethereal coin? And that's worth $275 million USD. Cool. It's NFTs are- Who gets the money? Her? Uh, I think you have to turn all the Ethereum into... No, she just got to 17 grand. Which also kind of low for a sex tape. Yeah, 17 grand? Yeah. I, think she, I, mean, I mean, she's not very famous. No, but still, you're still selling yourself a little short. Wait, Iggy Azalea or Azalea Banks? Azalea Banks. They're, They're different? Iggy, yeah. Fuck. Who's Azalea Banks? Uh, she... Is she white? No. She's black. I think she's, I know who she is. She's from Harlem. She made that song, uh, From the 212. And downtown that. What do you want to do? do, 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 do Never heard do. it. That's a good song. Iggy Azalea? Like no. Azalea I love Iggy, Iggy Azalea. Iggy. I'm just kidding. I don't no. I don't think she's good. I was uh, tripping balls at- Why do uh, you only bring up artists that I don't like? 
Because <laughs> those are the ones that make sex tapes and sell them for $275 million. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It was, really inter- it was an interesting. Does article. she make good music? Azalea Banks? Yeah. She made one or two really good songs. Like what? Two on two of the while I was just singing. Um, Old Town Road? Did she do that? No. Didn't she think did so. Well, well, he didn't get any. He got kind of gypped. Yeah, he made one of the greatest songs of all time. Yeah, but he didn't get any Grammys or anything awards for no, it. No, they're not going to give it to a meme song. So the yeah, Grammys suck, still, bro. Yeah, but it's like... Uh, the Grammys suck. Like, just let's, say, let's not ignore how good if, it's Let's do our own award show. Let's do Song of the Decade. Let's give it out now to fucking Old Time Road. Let's say the name right. Old Town Road. That's what I said. I thought you said Old Time. Maybe I did. To fucking Old Time Road. Yeah. It's <laughs> you knew what I meant. Sure. With here at our award show, you don't have to speak correctly. Say what you feel. And people will get it. If we open a thing and it says La La Land, people know we didn't mean La La Land. Moonlight. We meant Moonlight. Moonlight. Because we, we don't say it like happy, like La La Land, we go, and the winner is La La Land. Broke Black like, people Mountain. People know we're talking. No, that's not good. I don't like that one. Broke Why? Black Mountain. What is that? Why? Oh, Broke Black, yeah, I guess. For Moonlight? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Broke I Black Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's naughty, but it's funny. It's not that naughty. It's, it's Did you silly. ever see Broke Black Mountain? No. One time, me and one of my friends... Is it good? We rented it and, and came home to a group of people. We were the ones to go get the movie. Yeah. Come up and, and we got we, we got Broke Back Mountain. Everyone starts laughing. We're like... We acted like we didn't know what it was. We're like, you know, it says it got these awards or whatever. We never heard of it. Everyone's like, that's the fucking movie where the guys are gay. We're like, what are you talking about? We, we thought it was like some old western or whatever. Yeah. And then we laughed and we pulled out the real movie. And then when everyone left, we watched. Watched Broke Back Mountain. How was it? I, we didn't finish it. We started jerking each other off. <laughs> Um, um, it's fine. It's yeah. like sad cowboys being gay. It's like, I don't, I don't know. Sad cowboys being gay. I didn't really relate to it because I've never been a cowboy. It sounds like the concept for like a Madonna album. Yeah, I mean, it might as well have been. Yeah. But it, yeah, I think it was good. Heath Ledge, the goat. Legend. He's the, not the goat. He's good the, though. The dead goat. Who's the goat? Denzel, baby. Mm, he does one thing, but he does it incredibly well. Yeah, you can't be the goat if you do one thing. That, it's, that means it's Dennis one thing Rodman he does is the in, goat. No, no, no. In acting, it's different. No. He has he has range to do a lot of different things. But I'm saying he'd like when you cast Denzel, it's for you want rage. Was, was you Denzel, want like controlled rage, was, like a guy who's just fed the fuck up. Was he good at being the Joker? Or oh no, that was Heath. Ledger. Oh yeah, you're right. That was Heath Ledger. Right. Oh yeah, I always forget. Oh yeah, Denzel was John Q. Right. Oh yeah, mm, not that good of a movie. It's a pretty good movie. Is it? It's pretty good. Is it? it sounds good as a Joker. See. All right, who do you think was better? Joe, Actually, you're, you're going to say Heath Ledger. My new roommate, Joe, has watched The Dark Knight twice in the past week. Yeah, it's on. Uh, it's been on HBO yeah, a lot. Or FX movie. or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's great a great movie. movie. That's a good movie. Or TNT, maybe. Whatever. Yeah, because TNT's been doing all the uh, uh, DC Batmans and TNT's. Or, Getting yeah. ready for J-League. TNT, yeah, they've been doing all the Batman. TBS has been showing all the Marvel movies. You know who you'd be in the Justice League? Don't really want you to answer this, but go ahead. Aquaman? Oh, no, keep saying you don't want me to answer until I think of something funny. Aquaman. No, it, um, you'd be cyborg. Um, no, oh. cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a good one. All right, you got a fucking Rico? Yeah, hit me. Uh, we're gonna hit go me. this week with the animals from Homeward Bound. Wait, oh shit! Don't do this to me. Yep, <laughs> we're doing it. All right, yeah. real quick before we go. I actually have one more thing too before. The, go uh, hit it. Uh, give me time to think. Fuck, I forgot what it was. Oh, more Space Jam related news. Apparently, they were they took out Pepe Le Pew. And there was uh, like a whole scene. He where was in there already. He was supposed to be in there, and then there was a scene where LeBron was explaining uh, consent. Yes, <laughs> and they scrapped the whole thing. All right, this movie's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's gonna be so fucking bad. It's gonna be terrible, bro. Oh god. But at least they took it out. They are. They were like, all right, we maybe we shouldn't do this. Yeah, maybe take the whole movie out. Um. <laughs> so my little sister, we posted that uh, clip of uh, us doing the improv with the grandma and the little boy on TikTok. And my sister said, fuck, Mary kill with soups. And I said, fuck chicken. No, Mary chicken noodle, fuck tomato, kill split pea. Those aren't even the three best soups. Yeah. No. They're the three grandma soups. Okay. Yeah, they're the three grandma soups, but like For sure. fucking good chowder. Yeah, we don't all, we, we didn't all live in fucking New York, okay? There's other soups that are good. I know, but that's. Not everything has to be every New York related. It's New England clam chowder. Yeah. What is New England in New York? No. Yes. No. It's yes. It's a different place. No, it's not. New England doesn't exist. It's, it's like a 200 miles it's away. An, it's an idea of. It's a state of mind. Yeah. All right. New England isn't a place. But there's like a New York clam chowder that sucks. Then there's New England clam chowder, which is really good. Well, whatever. The, the whole East what about French sucks. What about, you could just keep hating on it for no reason. The what fact what that, do you mean no reason? The fact that I mentioned a soup. 
<laughs> and you get this because this you're upset. like, I said the three most famous soups of all time. You're like, yeah, but clam chowder. So I thought we were going Shut with the best up. soups because I would take two of those out. Do you know that? Actually, an, I might keep. Uh, I don't know. Do you know that an article just cr- released? Wait, what about French onion soup? French, French sucks. Man. Bro, French onion soup is fine. It's not as big as chicken noodle, tomato, and split pea. They're the best. They're the big three. No, they are. But like, but if we're gonna do fuck Mary Kill, let's do the best soups. Those are no. Yes. This is the most popular. Does not this is coming from the guy who said the best school supply is magic markers. I didn't say magic markers. I said smelly markers. So there was an article released that said California has better bagels than New York. Yo, don't get, you know, please, who, I don't want to get started. Do you know who this. said it? Do you know who said it? Who? The New York Times. Yeah. Do you trust their opinion on their namesake? Because I do. Matt, I already had the, I already had this argument, uh, and I'm pretty well prepared for this. So this wasn't this was an Good op- luck. this was an opinion piece. That got published in the New York Times as clickbait. What was it called again? The what times? The New York Times. Okay. This was clickbait. Okay. So they're gonna click. This, this was gonna... just this was some random person's opinion. No, look, not yeah. a random person. No, a journalist. Up. No, 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 not a journalist. Yes, a journalist. No, a, not a journalist. <laughs> a food blogger. Who <laughs> is that? Not journalism. We, he, yes, he it paid, is. He also he paid to have his shit run in Forbes before. Sure. So this guy isn't like a credible journalist. This what do you is mean also he's not someone, credible? He's published in Forbes and the New yeah, York Times. He paid Forbes That's to run his credible. shit. He paid Forbes to rub his wow. shit. Wow, that seems kind also, of credible this wasn't, to me. This wasn't. This was. This was. Uh, this was an opinion piece. This is in the opinion section. Oh guy, no, 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 no. Oh, the guy saying a food was better than another food is an opinion piece. You don't say. No, I'm saying it was in the opinion. Oh, you didn't have stats oh, to back You're such it up, jackass. You know why. Because you know I'm right. You're not right. Did you read the article either? The New did you read York the article? Times? Did you read of the article? Of course I didn't. All he did was mention like three good bagel places in California. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you're a jackass. Why? Because that's, that's what you're based on, son. You just want to argue with me. Okay, but if- It's part of your anti-New York agenda. If, if I, I don't if you really are saying it's not bagels. an agenda. It is, it's, not it, an agenda. You know what? It's becoming one. Is it? What, what you're doing, it's becoming one. It's just not that great of a place. <laughs> it's, become, it's becoming an agenda. Never been. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you it sucks. Um- also, your reasons for hating New York are they're they're kind of myopic. I don't have reasons. Yeah, you would. You I say? don't hate New York. You said it was all dirty and, it and is. poor. Yeah, there's rats. Yeah, but there's poor places in Los Angeles too. Sure, you there's just no don't rats. Go there. You just don't go there. Yeah, there are. Yes, I do. What do you I mean? Saw, I don't go I saw there. a rat on my. When's the last time you've been to Inglewood or South day. Central? When? Yesterday. No, you're lying. Yeah, I went to see my friends. Your mom. <laughs> you went to pick up your mom at the airport. No, she flew into Burbank. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a couch from Downey tomorrow. Downey's, uh, yeah. So, what you got to say about that? Is it a nice couch? Yes. So your couch, you might it want, is. I want to spray it for like uh, bed bugs or something. I'm not going to spray it for shit. Because you know why? It didn't come from fucking New York. Okay. It's not covered in bird shit and, and <laughs> dirty water. Our water's clean, bro. Your what? Our water's clean, bro. Your what? Water. I don't know what water is. Water? W-O-O-D-E-R? Oh. Water? Okay. okay. Water. What was the thing you wanted to say about soup? And we have better water to make better bagels, bitch. Where? Where? <laughs> Where is there better water? Here. I don't know one person we that doesn't from, own a brother here. We get ours from the springs of Denver. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. You're just making that up. LA's water comes from Denver. No, it doesn't. 100% it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Bro, I, I'm not wrong about this. Our water comes from Colorado. I don't think you're right. Okay, take your time. I'll play a song while you look it up. There's nothing here about LA water coming from Denver. You just made that up. You just not blind to people. But I don't know why I believe you. It definitely comes from like the t- up top of the state. Matt. Oh, I was okay. going to sing a song. So listen, I looked this up and I didn't have to click anything. I'm telling you. What did you type in? LA water. Okay. I typed in this, LA water Denver. Okay. See, don't do that. You're bad at looking things up. Uh, let me read this to you. In the city of Los Angeles... Groundwater represents close to one tenth of the water supply. Seventy percent of the city's water supply flows through the once flowed through Los Angeles. Now over fifty percent flows through the Colorado River Aqueduct, which can deliver one billion gallons of water per day to Southern California. Okay. Do you think the Colorado River Aqueduct? Where do you think that's located? Uh, Colorado. Go ahead. Actually, I have no idea. It's probably somewhere in California. That I is think a good Colorado guess. Colorado River just probably flows to California somewhere. That's a really good guess. Do you want to know where it's located? Where? Colorado. Wow. How's it feel to be right? It's pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Welcome to the fucking board. 
What are you, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I couldn't think I'm of so, a word to say, so I said bored. Yeah. What's, what's going on? Welcome to the team or something, I guess. All right. Fuck, Mary kill. Homeward bound animals. Yeah. Sassy the cat. Uh, Chance the puppy or shadow. shadow. Shadow the golden retriever. Um, This is hard. This is hard because I kind of want to fuck all three. <laughs> no, um, this is hard because I, all three have like, um, such good qualities to, to marry. Um, shadow is just like, you know, old faithful will take care of you. Very thoughtful and smart chant. I guess I don't want to marry chance. Um, sassy, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, she was sexy, but she's a, she's a literal cat. Yeah. But she's sexy cat. For a cat, she's pretty sexy. She's like gray and fluffy. Who was the was it Roseanne the voice? I don't think was it Roseanne? I don't think it was <laughs> Roseanne, bro. That'd be wild. Um So I think I think I'm gonna start with Mary and I think it's gonna be Shadow. Oh, Sally Field. Michael J. Fox. Oh, the cookie chance. lady. At, well, I don't know. I think that's Sally Field. Michael book. Jackson was the Michael J. Fox. Oh. And Dan Amici. Dan Amici. Um, I think Dan Amici is going to be at the festival. He's my favorite uh, e- DJ. Um, EDM is uh, pretty annoying. Yeah. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah, I'm going to marry Shadow. Um. Just because. I don't really think I need to say why. I think he's just so, you know, he's seasoned, smart, mm-hmm. um, thoughtful. He'll put you ahead of himself. Um. Just an overall good, good, good boy. Um, so that leaves Chance and Sassy. Damn, you're killing Chance. I think I'm gonna. I think I have to. Uh, okay. Well, let me think this through real quick. I it, initially I go fuck fuck Chance and kill Sassy because Chance is so lovable and he's just like an idiot. But Sassy is uh. I think she's kind of underrated in the intelligence department bec- I agree. because she is a cat. Um, which is unfair. You know, dogs are more, they're able to do more in the wild um, than a cat is, you know? The, she couldn't swim, right? That was a big plot point. No. Did you watch it recently? No, I didn't. I don't know why this came to me. Yeah. I'm, well, I just want reassurance on if I'm remembering the movie right. But she, she got like flung on the thing. Yeah, and, Chance got hit with the porcupine. Yeah. Shadow's um, like leg hurt or something. And yeah, I'm... <sighs> This is tough, but I think I'm going to kill Chance. You know, I think he gets away with a lot and, and you know, to give him this as well, it just kind of seems too much. So I'm going to kill Chance and I'm going to, mm, I'm going to fuck Sassy, bro. All right. I've always wanted to. Okay. That's that's mine. What's yours? Uh, I'm going to start with my kill. I'm going to kill Shadow. Okay. He is, he's older. He's seen a lot of life. The other two got a lot more time ahead of him. He, he also seems like pretty comfortable with... He'd you know understand. I mean? Yeah, he made it back to see his owner one last time. Yeah. He'd be okay. I get that. I'm going to fuck Sassy the cat. I mean, just her name's Sassy. Yeah. Goes that saying. Yeah. And I'm going to settle down with Chance. We're going to grow old together. We're going to learn some more about stuff about each other. What a tumultuous relationship that's going to no, be. No, dude, I think it'd be good. I think uh, I think Chance would be like the go-getter that I need in my life to really... Uh, he's not a go-getter. No, he's... he. Well, not maybe not a go-getter. The excitement. The lust that he has for life. That excitement. I think that's something that can really take me to the next level. I think you guys would be great friends. I think your relationship is going to falter no. significantly. No. I think you guys will be so tumultuous. You'll argue a lot. No. You will, though. We'd have so much fun, dude. We wouldn't be arguing. It would be like, it would, it would be a lot of like. You'd I have think, fun for a little bit. I think it would be a lot of open communication about like, hey, bro, I didn't like that. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't I think do. either of you are, are very good at communicating. I'm pretty good at communicating. Yeah, I don't think chance is that great. I'm pretty good at having serious conversations about shit. If I, like I'm actually being think, bothered by something. I think everybody is. No, they're not. I mean, most people we hang out with are. Yeah, I would say. Uh, so why is that? So why? So why does that like a, a knock against me? It's not. But you I mean, saying I, I, you, I, you said I couldn't communicate. I was like, well, I, I, I wish I you can. the best of luck. I don't think chance is what you need in in a long term relationship. Hey, about what you need, it's about what you want. Mm, sure, and I think that's one of the reasons why your relationship isn't going to work. No, nah, bro, you can't. It be, is about what you need. No, it's not about what you need. It's, it's like so, one of the things, I don't need Chance, I want him. So if you give me the choice between water and candy, 
I want candy. It's not always well what you want. No. And that is called wisdom. You're welcome. But sometimes you got to choose water sometimes in terms of relationships, though. It's not that when I think for a lot of people, it's not that I need to be with you. It's that like I've weighed all the options. This is what I want. If you need to be with someone, then you're developing uh, some some codependency. It's, but it's not it's not it's not you needing to be with them. It's their qualities, their patience, their whatever is part of um, what you need to thrive, not what you need to survive. But what you need to be the best version of yourself. I understand, but I, think, I don't think Chance offers that to you. I think he does. Okay. I think he offers that. Well, I mean, we'll see. No, we won't see because this is a movie that came out in 1993. All three of these dogs and cats are dead, and many more in filming, probably. Uh, if we're being wanna, honest, well, yeah, I guess 93. Yeah. For sure, for sure, there was animals that died on that set. That I think that's a lot to say. They shot a bunch of them in the river and shit, Come bro. On, you bro, think they, they all survived? Die during. <laughs> I guarantee they did during a dog's life, and that was 2016 or whatever. Damn, I wish you could tell me how many dogs died. They had a lion. On why, isn't set. That on, why isn't that on fucking uh, Wikipedia? Because they don't want to ruin everyone's fucking childhood and, you know, let it go. All right, I will. But now. you and Chance are getting divorced, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You'll have a fun couple years, but you're going to get divorced. And he's taking half of your Jeep. Hopefully the back half, because that's where he can stick his head out in. Holy shit. What? Oh, no. Sorry. I, d- I typed in and uh, I was looking how many animals were harmed and I just said, it was, it's a list. You looked up how many animals were harmed? I said, well, you want to know what I really searched? Homeward bound dead animals. What did it say? Uh, so the, the, the first thing that popped up, it goes, yes, animals were harmed. 21 films and movies. But I just saw the number 21. So I was like, oh, like, oh. I freaked out for a second. Um, You know what I want you to do this week? Go home and practice looking stuff up. Yeah, I can look stuff up when I'm not having a conversation at the same time. I mean, I can do it. You haven't. <laughs> you looked up one thing, and I had to fill in between. It's not that easy. I mean, I know it's not easy. Especially but I'm looking up like, specific things, like how many animals died. In I movie. just started, and I'll find it before you. Homeward Bound is a true story. Mm, I don't think so. What? what I mean, why could? Why was that lie? Um, Sassy was a male Siamese cat. Okay, interesting, dude. What the fuck? It wasn't even on this goddamn list. Um. Let's see. It says no one was harmed in making this film. Yeah, they say that in every film. Barack Obama. <laughs> don't do that. What? I don't know what you're looking up, but don't bring Barack Obama into this. No, he signed a recent bill oh, allowing him. the yeah. slaughter of horses. horses. Yeah, I do you see that right now. Weird. Are you in the same uh, HuffPost argument? I must be. By Elaine. Oh, so. Bush. Oh, I found it. Two hundred two million six hundred fifty nine thousand six hundred. <laughs> wow. See, bad movie, but it's a good movie. It was worth it. I don't think they could afford that many cats and dogs on that budget. You know what I've always thought they should do is instead of the death penalty, they should have inmates do stunts in movies and where they actually get fucked up or whatever. Oh wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It said eight or ten different cats played sassy. What did I just say? The death penalty, they should just whoop their ass. Have inmates get fucked up. Or have inmates fuck them up. You motherfucker. You gotta stop, stop looking stuff up if you're gonna <laughs> no. miss what I said. Well, bro, you can't ask me to do both. I'm gonna write that down and say it again next week. And your mind is gonna be wait, blown. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me again, please. Your mind is gonna no, be blown. No, for real. I really, I, I, no, I, we're I, over. I'm no, gonna I, got, I got some of it. I just want to know the rest. Bro, please. we're out of time. The song please. is starting. We're out of time. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll save it for next week. All right. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Uh, that's all. Stay humble, you guys. Bye. Say, say something. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs>